Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me again as a patron. I really appreciate your support, and I hope you're going to like this week's free SVG. It's another one that will be perfect for going back to school kids, this time for girls. I had done one that had a robot on it, and of course I made a pink one and a blue one, and I showed you how to use the reflective vinyl on that. This time I'm going to make one that's pretty much just for girls, even though there's a little boy pictured back here. Uh, it's going to be this. This is the print and cut version. But what it's going to be, well, follow me down to my uh, computer and I'll show you more clearly. Okay, when you first open the little Wonder Girl, she does come in all grouped together and probably a lot smaller than this. I've already resized her simply by dragging one of these corners here and that allows me to resize her. Um, one of the things that you could do if you want to is you can ungroup her and suppose you don't want her little stars to be here. So I could take those off, but look, they're still grouped to her eyeballs. So what I can do is ungroup again, and then that allows me to ungroup the stars by themselves, and I could delete them if I wanted to. So I'm just going to hit the undo button or control Z on my keyboard to go back to the way it was. There we go. So the other thing that I could do if I want to is I could change this into a print then cut. Right now, notice on the right hand side, all of these little pieces are going to be cut out. If I want to change it to a print then cut, all I have to do is, well, I need to regroup it again because I like it all to stay together perfectly. And then the only thing I have to do now to make it a print then cut is to say flatten. So you may be wondering, well, how do I know if there's going to be a box behind her or not? I want her to cut out with this jaggedy line behind her and that kind of thing. So the easiest way to do that, as I've shown before, is just come down here to where it says blank canvas on the lower right. Click on that. And that brings open this little color swatch up here at the very top. I can click on that and then change the background color. And as long as I don't see a box behind her, all I see is that new background color, that means it's going to cut perfectly around the outer edge of this whole thing. So I would just go to make it. Oh, I've made her too large. That's what's wrong. Notice that. Look at this. This didn't used to pop up. I didn't notice this little uh, warning sign over here. <clears throat> it used to come up right up here and it would tell us it was too large. Now I notice there's a little icon over here. So I need to make her smaller to be able to be a print then cut. Now I can go to make it. And as you know, this black box does print around this, but that just lets you know, or your uh, Cameo or your Cricut machine know where this object is on the paper. Okay, so this will print out, but it will be cut off when your machine goes and cuts this. Let's cancel this and go back. I'm going to click Control Z so I can get back to where it's not a print then cut. There we go. And let's see, suppose for a minute, instead of having this crown like this, I can. Um, ungroup it. And what I can do is I can bring this over here. I could even get rid of the star if I want to, so let me show you that in a sec. But let's say I want to put her my daughter's initials up here. What I can do is just click on this to grab it, and then I'm going to ungroup it. Now I'm just going to click on this piece, and notice contour is now available. So I can contour, and I'm going to contour the star right out hit the close, and now I can put her initials in here if I wanted to, or I could write something on here. So let's say it's L-A-N, and I might want it all caps, but we'll just leave it like that for now. I could bring this up here, size it so it will fit, and then if I want to, what I can do is just grab both of these and say slice. So what that's going to do it's going to slice this part right out, and when I put the crown back on here, 
it'll have her initials there instead. Uh, again, if I wanted to do that, I would probably get rid of the star. So how would I get rid of the star? Take this group and ungroup it. And then I can just get rid of the star by hitting the X. And then this can come back on here. And these two parts would come back, whoops, over here. And this little guy here. And her new crown is here. Where, there are her red shoes or boots. So the thing is, the reason why I said this is a good for a back to school is I recommend that you do this gray or silver part out of the reflective material, just like I had shown for that other um, robot image that we did. Let's see if I can find him real quick to refresh your memory. View all, I think I still have him here. There he is, he was this guy right here. Let's insert him. And remember how we did him. I have a video on him and what I did was I made all of these silver parts be the reflective part. I'll have a link down below to this video in case you're interested in seeing that one as well. But anyway, this is today's free SVG. It can be used as either a vinyl um, HTV item or regular vinyl or a print and cut. Maybe not as easy to do with cardstock. So thanks for joining me and thank you so much again for being a patron. I really appreciate you a lot. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye.